Hi, my name is Dave Hilfert with Sun Microsystems. I'm a group marketing manager for the Java Group. And I'd like to take just a few minutes to update you on what's going on with our Sun Java Real-Time System product. The first thing to talk about with regard to real-time is what exactly is real-time? How do we define this? Uh, there's a variety of categories that we use. These are the most common. The first is non-real-time activities. These activities are normal programming activities that you might use in, say, a graphical user interface or perhaps some sort of calculation that's going on. And there's no time-based deadline for this work. So you certainly want it to happen as fast as possible, but uh, it doesn't have to be done by a specific time. Soft real-time, on the other hand, is a category of, of software that has actual deadlines. And these deadlines can be missed, but only under well-understood conditions. So, for example, if a stoplight is a real-time system, it's supposed to turn red after 60 seconds. If an ambulance is passing through, it might not turn red at the right time, but that's okay. We all understand what's going to happen there. Now, the final category is what we call hard real-time systems. These systems have deadlines, but they cannot be missed. A great example is if you were uh, flying in a plane and the, the, the wing flap is controlled by a computer, if the wing flap needs to move, you want to make sure it moves just when it's supposed to move. Otherwise, bad things will happen and it will fail. So once we understand these categories, we can talk about what the Sun Java Real-Time System does for you. The first thing it does is it modifies the Java SEVM and brings all of these categories together in one place. So this is interesting because you can now take your existing Java SE program and you can run it on top of this special custom VM and everything will run as advertised as it did before. However, you can now modify or add to your existing program and put elements of soft or hard real-time into the picture. As we note on this screen, you'll see that uh, the soft real-time behavior uses something called scoped or immortal memory. These are new memory areas that we've added to the Java SEVM in order to facilitate or to manage these new kinds of processes. Hard real-time threads actually use uh, typically immortal memory, but they also use scope memory in certain conditions. And you'll also notice on the screen the fact that we have what we call a real-time garbage collector. This is a garbage collector that is inherently predictable. So you can tune it, you can make sure that it doesn't interrupt your important functions, and you can schedule it on a predictable basis. So who's using this product? All right, so inherently the product is about predictability. We've got these different types. It sounds like a science project or something. Well, in fact, different industries have these needs and may not, in fact, realize them as real-time behavior. For example, Reuters. They're taking their number one uh, revenue-generating service for their product line, and they're upgrading this into a Java system because they want to take advantage of the Java language and all the benefits and uh, skill sets that they have. And, but they need predictability because when uh, this information goes out to the traders, if they're held up by garbage collection or by some other process, such as logging, that's less important, their customers are unhappy, and in fact, there's a lot of money that can be lost. So they, in fact, have a hard real-time system, and they have chosen to use the Sun Java real-time system running on Solaris on Spark hardware. So the benefits for them, as I mentioned, is that they want to move to Java, but it has to be predictable Java, right? More predictable than standard. Let's look at another case. In this case, this is more of a military aerospace uh, environment. This is a company called ITT, and they actually are a contractor for the government that manages a space radar system. So uh, this is a radar system that tracks uh, satellites, uh, the space shuttle, <laughs> space junk, all kinds of things. The trick here is they've had a system in place for about 20 years, and this system needs to be replaced once again, they want to use a modern architecture. They'd love to use Java, but they need a version of Java that's predictable because when they're trying to control this, array, this radar array, they cannot afford any interruptions or anything that would cause this to become misaligned or to get uh, a bad set of data. So for them, predictability is important, 
And once again, they've chosen the Sun Java real-time system running on Solaris on top of Spark to fulfill those needs. So what does Sun Java real-time system look like? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Sun Java real-time system is essentially a variant or a variation of Sun Java SE. Sun Java SE is the base or the Sun Java Standard Edition. And we have essentially added elements of the Java uh, specification request number one, the real-time specification for Java. To do this, while they are incremental features, the VM itself must be modified in very precise and careful ways so that we can get the kind of predictability and the prioritization that we need to be successful. As you'll see from the diagram, we support completely all of the standard Java SE libraries, but we add, in addition, some real-time libraries to provide these new functions and to support these new memory areas and thread types. You can see from the diagram that Sun Java real-time system runs on both Solaris and Linux. Our Linux release, which is called Sun Java real-time system 2.1, is currently in beta and will be available by the end of June. Both of these products run on Spark or x86 hardware, so you have a wide range of standard platforms that you can use this software on and achieve predictable behavior. So in summary, the Java real-time system is it for situations where you need predictability. You need guarantees, you need to know that a given thread is going to execute at a given time and according to a given set of priorities. You use it in situations where missing a deadline or missing a transaction is unacceptable. So it's not for everything, but it's very critical for these areas. The Sun Java real-time system also allows you to reuse all of your existing Java SE code. So you can bring forward some of your existing code, you can integrate with your legacy code, and you can still add just the elements you need to make your product predictable and successful. And then finally, as I noted, the Sun Java real-time system runs on both Solaris 10 and on real-time Linux vendors. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you'll come to the website and learn more about Sun Java real-time system, and I hope you have a great day.